Hey, how you doing? Justin here to show you how to get your guitar in tune. Now, if you're already confident that your guitar's in tune, you know exactly all about all this, you know how to use your tuner, then feel free to move on to the next lesson in my beginner's course. For those of you who are not really sure, a bit new to this or want a little refresher, there are quite a few different ways to tune your guitar. When I grew up, it was pitch pipes. You had this, like a little kind of a harmonica with six things that you could blow in, it gave you the note and you had to tune your guitar up. Electronic tuners made that a hell of a lot easier, which you can still buy like standalone little, you know, guitar tuners. You can also use apps. Most of the time I tend to either use an app or a clip-on tuner. Now, clip-on tuners literally just clip onto the headstock of your guitar. You don't need to be plugged in. You don't need any sort of amplification. And they give you all of the information that you need to tune your guitar and they're relatively cheap. So actually what I recommend is using a clip-on tuner. So I've got two clip-on tuners here to demonstrate today. Uh, the first one is the TC Electronic Polytune, which can actually tune all six strings at the same time. We'll show you which one is out of tune. Uh, it's a very, very accurate tuner. It's the one that I use nearly all the time. I think it's great. A little bit on the expensive side, maybe for a beginner, but you will last a long time with this tuner. You are probably not gonna need another tuner anytime soon. Also very, very small, compact, I like that sort of stuff. I would normally have them around the back of the guitar, by the way, not the front. I've just stuck them at the front here uh, to make it easier for me to film it. Um, as well as that tuner, I went and bought myself what I think is probably the most common budget tuner. It's called a Snark. Very, very common uh, tuner. Reasonably accurate, easy to use, all of that sort of stuff. So what I thought I'd do is just take you through uh, actually what they look like and how to use the tuners. Now, most commonly when you get a guitar, especially if it's straight out of the box, the strings will all be detuned a bit. So I'm just gonna knock my strings varying amounts out of tune here so we can work on getting them back in tune. So let's start by tuning the thinnest string here. So if I'm gonna play that first of all, now that's saying it's a note D. The thinnest string needs to be the note E. Now E is after D, so we have to go up. Most times you're gonna find that you tune up to a note, particularly if you've got a new guitar, the strings will have gone flat over time. So now I'm just looking here. On this one, I'm, on the Snark, I'm looking for the blue line at the top with a little, it's got a little bit of a green edge to it as well. For he, on this one, I want the little center thing to be green, not going onto the red, and this line in the middle to be relatively stable. It'd be difficult to get it exactly stable, I think, but... There we go. It's got the E string in tune. Now, if we look at the second string, this needs to be the note B. At the moment, it's the note A. So we just keep going up. It's showing A sharp. Now, here we go, we're on a B. But you can still see it needs to go up. There we go, and we're accurately on the B. There we go. I think that's pretty good for the B. Okay, this one is showing the note F sharp. So less far to go here. There we go, that's pretty good. That was the note G, which is the third thinnest string. Fourth string, this one showing a C sharp. I'm just tuning it up. You always want to tune up to a note too, not down. So if I went too far, oh, oops, it's got to be D. I would actually go lower and then back up. I think getting into the habit of always tuning up to a note is a really good idea. There we go. This one, oh, this one went right down. That's an F sharp. This one needs to be an A, the fifth string. Okay, keep going up here to the note A. Here we go. You don't want to do it too fast, see? Or you'll miss the right note. There we go. There's an A, that's pretty good. That's a D, D sharp. We're looking for E again. Two outside strings on the guitar are both E's. So there are a couple of common problems that beginners face when they're learning to tune their guitar. Using a tuner only really works when the guitar's roughly in tune. If it's really, really out of tune, like you had to replace a string or you got a guitar out of your friend's loft and it's been there for a couple of years or whatever and it's really out, you're gonna to have to do a little bit of listening first, okay? You're gonna to have to put a string on. If you don't know how to change your strings, there's lessons on that on the website as well. There'll be a link to that in the description as well. Um, but you're gonna to have to listen and put it, you know, get the string attached correctly and 
listen. And again, in the Tune Your Guitar series on the website, there's loads of different ways of tuning a guitar, not just using a tuner. So you want to, for that, in that circumstance, if the strings are really way out, then you want to use your ear as well, perhaps before a tuner, and just get them roughly in tune. You're going to have to listen to roughly how high or low the notes are of each individual string. Another common problem beginners face is finding it difficult to play just one string at a time. Nearly all tuners want to hear just one string at a time when you're doing your tuning. So if you've never used a pick before, it's a whole new thing. You go to try and pick this fourth string here. It's going to be fairly difficult, I know, because I've tried it left-handed, right? It's difficult to get just one string ringing out. The best solution? to do away with the pick all together and just use your thumb. So let's say you want to tune this fifth string. You're going to rest your thumb on the fifth string there and then you're going to strum, like push down with the thumb and leave the thumb resting on the string beneath it. Okay, technically this is called a rest stroke in classical guitar, but it doesn't really matter. It'll just help it keep it nice and quiet and give you a nice kind of the correct technique if you think about resting the thumb on the string below. Before you go to the next string, just mute it, and there you go, onto the next string. It doesn't really matter whether you start with a thicker string or you start with a thinner string, but if your guitar was very out of tune and you had to tune them all up or down a lot, then you might find you need to tune your guitar twice, because actually the, the neck moves backwards and forwards a little bit relative to the tension of the string. So if you've changed the tension of the strings considerably, the neck might have moved just a little bit. Uh, usually a second tune will sort that out, no problem. If you're at all concerned about any of this stuff, I would urge you to go and check out my module on how to tune the guitar because there's loads of different approaches that you can use. You can use a pedal, you can use apps, you can use a harmonica, you could tune to a piano, you can tune the guitar to itself if you're at a campfire and you've got nothing to tune to and no tuner. Okay, there are lots of different ways to do it and what you want to do is learn a couple of ways and then settle on the one that suits you best.